Bill O'Reilly came out with a very interesting book. Uh, I say that somewhat sarcastically. Uh, the book is called Killing Jesus. Because the war on Christmas wasn't enough. It's time to get the Christians all riled up about, they killed Jesus! There's a whole chapter devoted to, it was the goddamn Jews. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> At least he doesn't say that. Okay. Um, but he does talk about uh, he, that he's got inspiration from God to write this book. We'll get to that in a second. But more interestingly, in a 60 Minutes interview with Nora O'Donnell, he admitted what a thug he is. Watch. He said his classmates got an early taste of the TV inquisitor he'd eventually become. Starting in grade school, I disobey the rules, mock those in authority, and brazenly challenge the accepted wisdom. My behavior back then was not much different from what it is today. And ain't America great? I was a little thug, and now I'm getting paid millions of dollars for being a big thug. <laughs> but you have children. You don't want your children to act like thugs. Sure I do. I want them to challenge the conventional wisdom. I want them to debate. I want them to be honest people. And I want them to develop a conscience and to speak out about what they feel is right and wrong. Look, we gave you the whole context there. Uh, but uh, I love his changing of the definition of thug to somebody who stands up against conventional wisdom and does the right thing. No, that's not the definition of a thug. The definition of a thug is someone who picks on the weak and does it for their own benefit, okay? And there, with that big fat grin, he was like, <laughs> now I get paid millions to be a big thug. So, yeah, the, and I love the irony of Bill O'Reilly claiming that he challenges conventional wisdom. Fox News sets conventional wisdom, unfortunately, these days. So the idea that he's some sort of outsider, rebelling against the system, is laughable. But they're a rare admission. Yes, Bill O'Reilly le leads the thug life. Now, he explains that uh, he got all this inspiration from God himself. All of the ideas come to me in the middle of the night. And one night, I just woke up and it went, Killing Jesus. And I believe, because I'm a Catholic, that comes from the Holy Spirit. My inspiration comes from that. And so I wrote Killing Jesus because I think I was directed to write that. You believe the Holy Spirit directed you to write Killing Jesus? Yes, I believe that. And why would the Holy Spirit choose you? You're asking me to speculate about, about the deity. Well, you are suggesting that you are the chosen one, Bill. I'm not the chosen one. I'm just one of many who have been given gifts. Oh, I see. So the Holy Spirit gave you a gift and then said, O'Reilly, please write a book where you will make millions of dollars. <laughs> well, that's pretty convenient, isn't it? So now we know where O'Reilly gets the crazy ideas in his head. He believes that the Holy Spirit whispers it into his ear in the middle of the night, apparently. Bill, hate the poor. Be in favor of more war. The Holy Ghost is a little different than what he appears to be in the Bible. Look, these people are of questionable sanity. If I said I woke up in the middle of the night and that a deity had whispered in my ear to do things, people would think I was crazy. And in fact, uh, they should probably keep someone like that under armed guard. But O'Reilly does it. And I know, look, I know a lot of people think that God talks to them. But they don't go on national television and say, no, no, no. The Holy Ghost specifically chose me to write this book and to give you this message. That's cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs.